got my guy in the building. I've known this guy for a very long time before mm-hmm. I was even on the radio. I might have had him in my magazine back in the day. I think, I think so. I think possibly. I got out of magazine. Shout out to my guy, Graf in the building. What's up? Bam, 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 bam. What's up, y'all? What's good? What's good? What's going down? What's up? Now, Graf can attest. I talk a lot of shit here on the radio about rappers ducking me, and I tell him every time I see Graf <laughs> faithfully, and his response to me is always, yes, if I know I owe you 100 bars. Yeah, I always say, I owe you 100 bars, man. So now you're going to get about 99 and a half. Uh, that's what <laughs> it is. I like a half a bar when I leave. Give you like a Kit Kat. Design, you oh my god, graphic <laughs> ability. So we were talking a little bit off air. This this rollout feels very different from what we've seen before. I mean, you've put out projects. I think mm-hmm. your first project came out like what we were talking like oh seven and then now Something like that, yeah. And then now it's like it's 2024 and you're just still outside, but it just looks and it feels different. I'm glad, man. That's why I said I attributed all to God's timing. That's the name of the album, too, God's timing. I yeah. feel like I'm walking in my purpose and everything is aligned in the right way, man. Like the blessings are like raining down. Yeah. The rollout is right, everything right. Nigga looking like he got dipped in holy water for back on the block. <laughs> Brand new nigga, you heard? Yeah. <laughs> so so what makes you say this time that you want to go this crazy? Because, you, I mean, you're doing all the top podcasts. You're doing all mm-hmm. the top radio shows. We're getting a lot of content from you. Right. Where was the conversation or who was the conversation with that maybe the light bulb went off and said, this is something I need to do moving forward? I think the... Uh the energy to always do it was always there. It was just about um, the people receiving what I was doing in this way. Yeah. Like now, hip hop and balls is back in style in a way that it works for me. Yeah. Now niggas are listening. Mm-hmm. And people be like, Graf, what did you change? I ain't really changed shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, y'all just listening differently. Same nigga. I guess I'm dipped in holy water a little <laughs> holy bit. Holy water, that's A <laughs> little yeah. bit. Still evil though. <laughs> shit ain't really working. I wasn't washed it off. But uh, nah, it's just, uh, it's just. Um, I think people are more receptive to what we're doing. And then I'm just packaging it a different way like I'm, I'm doing more content but in an artful way like I'm like alright if everybody want to do content and just most niggas make content just for the sake of going viral I don't give a fuck about just going viral or numbers none of that it gotta be dope I stand on culture first art first so I'm like I right, bet I'm gonna shoot my content in a museum and do some cool shit mm-hmm. it gotta be cool art to me I'm yeah. into art I'm into museums I'm into creativity I'm into curating cool shit so I take it from that perspective and I just since I already already Outwork niggas I just do it in my way <laughs> I said I'm gonna keep Outworking you niggas But let me just do it The way I feel It's presentable For my brand It gotta be art And culture based So that's just how I'm on it So now I, I guess I'm giving the fans A more in depth view Of how I approach it And okay. they appreciate it And I yeah. appreciate them For fucking with your boy Word. That's what it is Tone Graf Right before we went on air mm. I heard you talking And I told myself you should be doing radio. Hey, I said the same thing when I walked in this bitch. Like, I need <laughs> to show this a, motherfucker. He has the voice. Yeah, you're, you're no like, stranger to ladies and gentlemen, boys, Ladies and gentlemen, boys and there girls, we have now yeah. Amadeus Live. Yes, yeah. I, 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 want Graf, twos. I want Graf to narrate my audio book. Uh, you know what I mean? But, um, nah, like, you've obviously done right. a lot of press and media over the years. Like, like M said, you've been doing podcasts. You've been, you've been doing the circles. But, like, yeah. um, have you ever considered, like, getting into that radio? podcast radio um, space? People, I, I've gotten radio... Uh, podcast deals already that I haven't taken because I'm just busy doing this music shit. When you say a podcast deal, like like to, like somebody wanted to hire me to create my own podcast okay. and out of the mood to LA and all this other shit. Um, but it's a lot of money though. I see what y'all what, what what's on the table, mm-hmm. so it's not a hard no. But it's just like let me just fully flesh out what I'm doing music wise. Because mm-hmm. I look at this like if I'm gonna do podcasts, if I'm gonna do acting, if I'm gonna do music, if I'm gonna do clothes, I do it all the way. I don't half ass yeah, nothing. Yeah. So when I dive into like the album and the creativity that it takes to create a dope project, I'm Hands on, one hundred percent into that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with my clothing line. When I'm all in the clothing line, don't wait I see. I'm all into this shit. When I do acting, which is gonna be my next line of things to attack, I'm gonna, mm-hmm. I'm gonna take classes and really dive into it. I probably take a break from the bars and just do that. And then you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. My brain is like I'm a tunnel vision ass nigga. I like to focus on something and make it as fruitful as it can be. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So if I do a podcast, it gotta be either super dope my way or I just be attached to somebody else's shit. You know what I'm saying? Like shout out to Math. I did some of his shit before. Mm-hmm. But uh, we'll see. I just don't know if I want to do all the heavy lifting and do it all myself. But if that shit is laid out and all I got to do is show up and talk shit and leave, <laughs> oh, we good money, nigga. He wants it mapped we good out money. Already. Yeah, I got to have that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, have that shit laid out. And exactly. Nigga Gucci. This is what you're going to do. If I come up there and lift shit around. Nah, I ain't moving a couch. I ain't doing nothing. <laughs> I ain't got a bigger check for that shit. That's a big fact. What type of acting you think we'll see you in? You think you'll be you'll go down like the comedy route, maybe like the drama route? Maybe, maybe some Broadway. Um, I'm going to do all of that shit, man. Because you got to remember, I'm a fan of the arts, man. Like, I go to Broadway shows. I go to the museums. Dolo. I'm into this shit. So 
I would do all that, dead ass, and take part in it cause, because I enjoy it. Not even just because it's good for my career. I like this shit in real life. You know what I'm saying? So I would do all that. Word of mother. Definitely. And you also look like you would definitely go into fashion. Oh, yeah, heavy. I'm I can all, see I've, from the fit right here. I've been in fashion since before music. Yeah, that, before that's music. definitely dope. So what is what would it be called? I have a, a line called Dope NYC. Dope NYC. Yeah, and then I endorse a lot of other brands that, you know, that come and either throw a bag or I just like it. I always... Holla at new designers first, mm-hmm. especially uh, entrepreneurs, people with new lines that I think is dope. I always embrace it, put it on, rock it, and help them buzz it up. Because I, I, one, I like to be first, two, I like to empower young designers, especially young black designers, minorities from the town. I'm going to hold you down off the rip. If it's dope, you should got to be dope. You can't just be young and black. I mean, hold on, but that shit look like, my oh, nigga, you ain't even wearing that. You bugging, my boy. That ain't going to rock. Nah. <laughs> you got to be more than just be more, be more than just black, my nigga. Black. <laughs> I was black yesterday. I mean, black tomorrow. We got to do something else besides just be black, my nigga. But be dope too. That's got your is, back, man. my boy. That's Word. what it is, man. The Punchline Academy live and direct here on Sirius XM Shade Forty Five. My guy Graph is here. Me and Miss Gadadam were having a very interesting conversation on the way here about this autograph uh, project. This yeah. is the first project. Oh and, wow! And we wanted to know what makes you different right now than that. Obviously, we spoke about it. Like you look different. Mm. Yeah. yeah. The feeling is different. But where, where's the growth that you think just yourself as a person? Uh, I mean, I, that, that's the first thing I grew as a person. Yeah. Like when I first, when I made Autograph, I was just fresh out the hood, ignorant as fuck to the business and just, especially not being friendly. I was not thinking about business at all back then. I was just thinking about being the best and being competitive. And once you get more mature, you realize niggas at the top are not competing. They're collaborating. That competitive mm. shit. I'm still competitive by nature. This is hip hop. Mm. But when you come into it with only competing and you're not thinking about business, you're going to lose. You want to collaborate. You want to do tours. You want to have branded sponsorships. You want to get endorsements. All that shit is collaborative yeah. things. Those are those are group efforts that split the pie a bunch of ways to make a bigger one. When you mm. want some dolo shit, like, nah, me, me, man, I'm coming through, throwing elbows. Yourself, yeah. That yeah. ain't going to do it. So I was so competitive in the beginning and just, I'm nice and better than everybody that, yeah, I proved myself as the dopest MC, but I didn't. I didn't foster the right relationships and mm. end up on the right tours and get the right support business yeah, wise with that attitude. Yeah, so I just grew up in the shit and I became more of a business man for real, yeah. world. So now I approach it as, of course, a musician first, but it's business, man. Like music business. The word music is this big. The yeah. word business is this big. This big, yeah. If the, the business is going to outshot the word, it's going to overshadow the word music all the time. So you have to personally make the biz, the music part of it bigger for yourself because the business part is going to overshadow the shit but if you ignore the business you're fucked you know what I'm saying learn the business that's that's my one advice I get to anybody trying to do this thing as a true creative true artist you're not thinking about the numbers because you just want to create and be dope unfortunately you got to do both you got to be the creative and the business man yeah, or, you gonna, or, or your music will fall short and not get heard yeah. and then you just create art for you and your niggas you yeah. might as well stay in your fucking living room with the shit <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, Facts. Be, be hot from the couch, my boy. Yeah. If you don't come outside, you got to learn this business. Oh, that's what it is, Word. man. Shout out to my people who are active business people in the left lane. This is the Punchline Academy. <laughs> Let's play some classic graph and we back here hey, on Sirius XM Shade 45. Classic Heat live and direct here on Sirius XM Shade 45. This is the Punchline Academy. My guy, Graph, is here. In the building, yes, shout out Harmony in the building, who is, I think that she's, what are you, are you doing homework or what are you doing over there? You, <laughs> I don't know what she's doing. She's ready to go to City Field because that's where we're going to be at, hey. rooting for the New York Metropolitan. So this is the, I've heard about this Rockefeller deal before um, mm. and I've heard about it, but this is the first time that I'm visually seeing it, right? right and then right, you have right. the single Rockefeller chain, you brought the guys back out. Yes, sir. Um, so... Paint the picture for people that don't know the story. Um, you getting signed to Rockefeller and then, I guess, getting caught up in the clash of the Titans. Yeah, man. Um, getting signed to Rockefeller Records back in the fucking uh, heydays when Rockefeller was everything was a dream for any artist mm-hmm. that represents New York and culture and all of that. So when I got signed to Rockefeller, I was ecstatic, excited. I got to go to London with them dudes. And I met them all in London for the first time. So just me, fresh out the hood. Going to London, I'm meeting it's Jay, it's, it's, it's Bleak, it's Young Guns, Beanie, all these niggas in, in London backstage, crazy. You know what I'm saying? So that was my first impression of being at Rockefeller in, over in London. And I was just, for my young mind, that was crazy. And that was my first time overseas. Every, it was crazy. So I wanted to do that forever. Go on world tour to them, get the chain, the whole shit, drop albums. I only got to record like five records over there. I don't think we released them shits. 
didn't get the chain, and then Jay Z and Dame Dash relationship came to an end. Or at least the business part of it. I don't know. I don't want to talk about any friendship, but the business part of Rockefeller was no more. So in the middle of my deal, they fell apart. I mean, right as soon as I got signed. It's not like I had a time over there and it's like, oh, yeah, the exercising my rights in this motherfucker. Like, nah. <laughs> you ain't even have no time. Nah, nah. Nigga ain't get one shoe off. I was like, damn, I ain't get comfortable. You know what I mean? So that deal fell apart uh, out of my control. You know what I mean? So the, that it, was, it happened so fast, too, and so much was happening. I didn't even really get to emotionally respond to this shit. It was just... On to the next thing. Like I still, cause like I remember at that time I was like, okay, so do I still get the advance? Yeah. And I did. I was like, oh, so I get the money. Okay, cool. Fuck it. Y'all work it out. I'm chilling right now. Though. But um, yeah, man, I ain't get to live the dream like that, man. I wanted to change and all that. And um, so that didn't happen at that time. But then when I made this album, God's timing. When I make music, I always do what the music says. I don't overthink it. I don't. It's not contrived. It's not forced. And when I heard that beat. And shout, shout out to 38 Special, he produced the whole album. I don't know if I said that. Shout out to Special. Yeah, he's, and my last album, All the Words, he produced that one too. The nigga's a beast. He's like, I right, get Kanye, let's protect that man at all costs. Yeah, he is, yeah. He is, <laughs> but but um, um, when I heard that beat, I was like, this sound like some 07 Jay Z Rockefeller mm -hmm. shit. It just gave me them vibes. Yeah, it had to feel. It, it has to feel. Yeah, yeah, off the rip. So when I wrote my verse, that's the bag I went in. Mm -hmm. King of New York, and I'm talking my shit and talking about my Rockefeller shit. All that. I was just in my. I was. I was channeling my inner yeah. hole. In, in the pocket. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It just made me feel like on some Jay-Z shit. So I went there with it. And then um, when I heard it, I was like, yo, I have to play this for free. I was like, yo, check this out. He was like, yo, this shit is crazy. And he went his bag. He went his 07 yeah, bag. Yeah, he went crazy. It's Philly. Yeah. He went crazy on that shit, right? So then I was like, I got to call Petey. So I, I just I just put the pieces together like that. Then I called Bleak. Bleak heard it went crazy. Do rag Bleak in this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so that shit just feel like it came out in 08. It's so classic. Yeah. It's it, so it has classic, the feel. bro. And then the video, the video was crazy because that was the first time we all back in the room together since back then. Really? And Bleak said it to me. I even people that he said, you realize it's the first time we all in the room together in like a decade? Really? And you put the rock back together, my nigga. I was like, oh shit. That's crazy. I wasn't crazy. even looking at it like yeah, that. I'm just doing what I'm crazy. doing. I'm just enjoying the moment mm -hmm. and, and living in the shit. Yeah. And he said that, I was like, wow. And that shit really felt like that. So after that and seeing the success of that, I was like, nah, you know what? We got to complete this whole thing. I was like, I asked Big Homie if I can get this get this chain now. <laughs> I said, we got we got to bring this shit home. So he made the call and the chain on the way, nigga. Nice, man. Shout out to my guy Grab yeah, Fish. gonna get that Rockefeller chain yeah, on the way. God's time. Man. Man. Yes, it's God's time. Yeah, so the chain on the fan. way. Chain on the way, man. You yeah, know what I'm, saying? I'm worried because Dame Dash was recently talking about how he's gonna give a chain to whoever purchases his ten million dollars stake oh, so in you? Rockefeller. He bought it. You? Oh nah nah I wish I, shit, I wish I had ten million dollars shit I need, somebody give me some, what can we bring some counterfeit bills I had three chains on in a minute nigga counterfeit bills <laughs> grab from a minute ago you were talking about collaboration and well, shout out to Dame by the way I love Dame man I think wow. Dame is one of the dopest execs of our time in his business and does not get enough credit so let me shout out Dame Dash real quick one time for the one time shout yeah. out to Dame he shout called to Dame. he called into yeah, the he show called, he called into the Punch On Academy we have Freeway here I love that yeah yeah yeah, I, yeah. I he was shout out the, to Free too I thought he was in the Maldives he was in his ranch in Wyoming. Yeah, you got a ranch. Yeah. Like, Dame, my nigga, man. Dame's the best, man. Shout out to Dame all day, all day. Half a minute ago, you were talking about collaboration. Uh huh. And I see you brought with you today a good friend of, of the Punchline Academy, longtime collaborator with the Punchline Academy, Dupree God. He's Shout ducking no smoke, well. by the way. Nah, Dup he ain't ducking no smoke. Dupree come, come God is too busy. Make sure you fucking record this and put this on your goddamn TikTok and tag me. <laughs> this nigga right here was fucking with a flamethrower on top of a bus. Yeah, he was. <laughs> and he still didn't come to the Punch on Academy. He almost burnt my videos that day. Oh, Did he? Yeah. Did he? Let me tell this story real quick. Dupree. Shout out to my nigga Dupree. I shot the video. I shot the video for Method Man. He he set Method Man on fire. Method Man almost died. No, I'm joking. I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. 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 <laughs> Method Man's alive and well. Not to interrupt this interview. Get it, get it, another mic right there. Turn his mic on. Hold on. He, he my, got a velvet do rag. In, in my defense, <laughs> I'm just waiting to come and grace your stages properly after I destroyed all those niggas on your line <laughs> and, and during the pandemic all those niggas got destroyed by me that. just remember that <laughs> I remember that <laughs> look shout out to my nigga Banger too Bang over there he got balls he did your shit last, last week or something yeah, like that yeah, yeah, yeah he did yep Shout out to my nigga Don P. Shout out to my nigga Porter. I'm, all of them got got to come through. Yeah, we gotta have everybody. But uh, yeah, but Dupree did, definitely set the video shoot on fire. We we'll talk about that in private. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, all all right. Right. the man survived. Thank God. Everybody survived. Take the kids. You know what I'm saying, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah. Shout out to my guy Setting. 
active fires oh, in the left lane. Let's play this Rockefeller chain record, hey, and then you know what time it is. Yo. We're going to put Graf to work because the Punch on Academy freestyle yes, is sir. happening yes, right sir. after this heat. Shade 45.